Steve Dotto here. I'm glad you're joining me today. Today's topic is Hootsuite, my favorite social media dashboard. Now, if you know what a social media dashboard is and understand the concept, then stick around and watch this because this video is a short overview of all of, the, of what I consider to be the top three main features that are built into Hootsuite that make it indispensable for me. If you've never used a social media dashboard before and don't really know anything about Hootsuite, then I want you to, instead of watching this video, click on the video right beneath me, which is essentially the same content as I'm about to deliver here, but in an elongated form where I explain all of the backstory and explain all of the different features uh, around what a social media dashboard does, and I take my time. That video is about 20 minutes. This one should be six or seven minutes, so if you understand social media dashboards, stick around. If you don't click on the click on the link right beneath me. So if you're still here, I assume that means that you understand what a social media dashboard is. And Hootsuite is my social media dashboard of choice. And there are three main things that I use it for that it's become indispensable for me. In the first being monitoring social media channels and protecting my brand online. Uh, when I look at the different streams that I've created in it within Hootsuite myself, the one that my eye is always drawn to as soon as I open Hootsuite is the mention stream. This is where I'm following all of the mentions of Dottotech in Twitter. I do this partially because I'm full of hubris and I'm very interested in what people are saying about me, but more importantly, it's because I want to monitor my brand. And if there's somebody who I should be thanking for doing a shout out for me, or if there's a question from somebody within my, within my audience, or if there is an, especially if there's an issue, somebody's complaining about something that I said, or I'm receiving some criticism, I want to know about that right away and be able to address all of those different, all of those different items. So I always immediately gravitate towards the mention field right here and read through it and make sure that I'm always up to date in what's being mentioned. And if they like in the case of this particular post here from somebody who I don't know, haven't ever actually met, I'm not following at this point here, but Peter has said some nice things about my, uh, my latest video. So I want to be able to go in there and say, Hey, thanks, Peter. I want to be able to quickly right within Hootsuite, be able to compose a quick message, send it out to him and be able to address all, as I say, all of the conversations that are ongoing, it allows me to do very easily. Part and parcel with this tracking of your own brand, you can also use Hootsuite really effectively to track other things that are happening in the in the uh, other things that are happening that you might be interested in business wise, anything relating to your company, or if you're say writing a story and you want to cover some things that are happening on the news, you can track all of that by quickly adding a custom stream here. So if we take a look right now, I could say uh, within this add a stream. I can add it and have it focus on any of these main areas or based on search. So if I wanted to know what's going on in the BlackBerry world right now, because maybe I'm doing a story on BlackBerry, I'm going to be doing a feature on it on the radio show coming up. I can just type in BlackBerry and I could do some other terms as well around it. But if I just do a search based on BlackBerry, it's going to bring back all of the different Twitter and the social media conversation that's going on that people are hashtagging and talking about BlackBerry. So as a research tool, this is a, it's very quick for you to set up new streams to be able to audit them and monitor new streams based on whatever happens to be interesting at that particular moment. If you're planning a new product launch or you're doing some research of your competitors, creating streams where you can view what's going on in their worlds is a tremendous uh, source of information that will help you a lot. How you choose to use streams is up to you. The bottom line is it's really easy to add new streams and be able to track information right within Hootsuite. So that's benefit number one is staying up to date on what's happening both in my world and other things that I'm interested in. The second major benefit of using Hootsuite is the ability to schedule posts. And I love this feature. We should, if we want to be really good social media entrepreneurs, have our message out there on a regular basis to our audience. So she, we should be posting five, six, eight, 10, 20 times a day into all of our different channels with nice, valuable bits of content. And that number, of course, is going to vary depending on what your marketplace is. But for me, I've got a series of posts that I should be sending out on a regular basis to people who follow me. But I don't have time all through the day to suddenly stop what I'm doing and send a bunch of tweets and then remember to do something a little bit later. It just isn't going to happen. And fortunately for me, Hootsuite has the publisher feature, which allows me to go in and allows me to schedule ahead of time strategic posts. So I actually, at the beginning of the week, go in and schedule a full week worth of strategic posts. Things like updates of who's on my radio show, reminders of who was on last week, 
the videos that I've released or speaking engagements, anything strategic that I know I is a part of my business cycle, I can pre-program early in the week and I can have a nice steady stream. So before the week even starts, I've got maybe 15 or 20 tweets that are going to be going out through the week, keeping my brand in front of my audience and informing them of what I think to be important things. This is the easiest thing in the world to do. And it's great because you can sit down and you're in the mind space of talking about your business. So Monday morning or sometimes Sunday evening, even while I'm sitting down watching TV, I'll post, a, I'll create a whole series of posts here and I send them into all of my channels. So in my case, I'm sending them to Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. I deal with Facebook outside of this environment. Uh, but I, I deal with them. I write the posts here. As I complete each post, I click on the scheduling button here. And I actually manually choose exactly when I want each of these posts to appear. And then it populates them into all of these channels. That's what little number three says. It's, it means it's going into three different profiles. It, it schedules it so I don't have to worry about it. And I have a nice steady online presence through the entire week. And I actually layer this. So what I do is I do all of this pre-programming of strategic uh, posts. Most mornings, first thing in the morning, I'll add a few extra posts that are kind of related to ongoing issues. And then through the day, when I pop into when I pop into Hootsuite, if I see a post that I should be responding to or a conversation that I should be engaged in, I then deal with that in the immediacy of the moment. So I've got a nice layered strategy making sure that even when I'm busy with other things, I've got a steady online presence and Hootsuite facilitates that. The last feature is one that I just absolutely love and that is they've added something called an app directory. What the app directory does is it means that Hootsuite is actually more of a platform than an application because other applications can write code that allows them to become a stream within Hootsuite. So you can, so you can create all sorts of additional functionality and additional communication options based on the apps that they write. And scrolling through the app directory will snap your eyes open as to opportunities that might be out there. Just looking at the companies that have written tools to allow you to leverage their features into Hootsuite is, first of all, it's a lot of fun to go through. And it's a bit of a voyage of discovery because it's not always immediately self-evident exactly what each one does. But as you go through it, you're going to find ones that you say, wait a minute, that's a tool that I use a lot. When I saw Evernote, I just... Full stop. Oh, got to see exactly what Evernote does. I installed Evernote right away into Hootsuite. And most of these are free or have free trials where you can try them out for a couple of days. But for example, with Evernote, what happens is it creates a stream right within Hootsuite that has, has all of my Evernote notes. Now, how do you use that? Well, there's a lot of ways that it's useful. A, I've got lots of additional information that I can copy and paste, or if I've got addresses right here, I can find them right within my Hootsuite stream as opposed to jumping into Evernote. But it's the surprising benefits that make the biggest difference. If I take a look in here, I find this is my last newsletter that I sent out. I take each of my newsletters and I email it into my Evernote account so I have a digest of them. And so when it was sitting there, I suddenly went, wait a minute, I could share that, couldn't I? So I clicked here on the sharing link which then created this post for me, which has the short link. And it turns out that what it does is it actually turns the Evernote note into a shared note, meaning that anybody can see it. So it takes this nice big HTML document, shares it, and then creates a post that I can share into all of my networks. And the net result is anybody who follows me on Twitter or on um, in LinkedIn can now view my newsletter. Let me just find it here. It's... Uh, my, it's in my sent tweets. There it is. This is the this is that this this tweet uh, that I have already sent out by clicking and opening the link. See what it's done is it's opened up my shared Evernote note, and anybody can access this, and it has my whole HTML newsletter. What a great and easy to access way for me to share some valuable content with a broader audience than it was originally intended for. So it's these kind of unique uses that really shine when we take a look at the app directory within Hootsuite. You know, Hootsuite, social media has the potential to be a tremendous time vampire, just sucking energy out of our day by having to check our multiple channels and deal with all of the communications going on in all of those different channels. A social media dashboard, especially Hootsuite, allows us to reduce the amount of time we waste in social media and most effectively leverage the time and conversations that we're having in social media. For me, it's an absolute must-have tool. I hope you found this video to be useful. 
I'm Steve Dotto. We'll see you soon.